Adams all gone. First and ten. And nowhere to go for Scotty Phillips. Take a high usage rate for him this afternoon. And as I say that, he catches another pass and picks up about nine. It'll be second down and short. Long. Memphis on Mississippi side of midfield. The handoff and a great cutback by Taylor. Close to the first down. Let's see where they spot it. They may have given him the first down. He ran over Linton at the end of that run. It looks like he may have gotten it. I like the feel and the vision from Patrick Taylor. He starts a right, he press it, looking to put the foot in the ground and go back this way. He sees the cut right off his offensive lineman, and then it's sheer power, lowers the shoulder. And he's... It completes another one. Williams, pop, makes the catch. Feature running back, good start for Gainwell. It's Ole Miss defense on its heels, and Smith, pardon me, White takes it in. The Tigers strike first. Corral sacked back at the 12-yard line. Andre Thomas got to him. You're going to see him work right here off the edge. He's going to come up and under and beat this tackle clean. They bring pressure up under. Tackle has no chance and a big sack. Second one of that series for Matt Corral. This Today. Corral in the seam. Caught. Hung on to it. That's his position, but now we'll see Quindell Johnson playing a lot of safety for the rest of the day. The pick by Corral is going to take off with it. And he tiptoes out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. Self-inflicted wounds at various times. Right now, though, Ole Miss with the football and making a move. Scotty Phillips on the carry. Experience. Ball start. On second and 16, Corral threw back against his body, across his body, and dangerously in and out of the hands of the defender. Looks like they're just going to drop eight. They're 0 for 3 on third down. They come back to the screen at the 40-yard line. Cooley with the catch, but nowhere to go. He's going to be brought down at about the 32-yard line. His debut against Texas Tech. And he pushes that one off to the right just a little bit. Uh, recruiting. Memphis trying to close that gap. And on this drive, it's Patrick Taylor with a spirited run for the first down. Picked up about 15 on the play. 15 season with... An injury in all of 2017 before transferring. His arm looking okay on this one, though, and complete at the 35-yard line to Pop Williams as we check in Arizona State. They were bringing a little bit of pressure, and Patrick Taylor made the catch, but was... Wide under heat. And got rid of it. He was outside the pocket. And one of the, you know that song, I'll Take You There? Sure. All right. And right now, the Rebels trying to get there with a nice catch by Pellerin. As time had a man in incomplete. Trying to get him on the out and up. And picked off at midfield, well read by Quindell Johnson, who's in for Thomas, who was ejected earlier. In the well, I want to show you. This is where we're looking, okay? Watch the double move. See the grab there? Grabs him by the waist. Okay, and that doesn't allow the receiver to go make the play. So I Order the main card. Go to ESPNPlus.com slash top rank. Corral sacked back at the 17. That Tiger defense showing its teeth. And got the sack. And Pop Williams back deep, feels it at the 42. Makes another good cut. Got a block. And Pop finally brought down at the 37-yard line. Third and goal. Taylor again. This time steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! come back and out of the Wildcat now Taylor taking the direct snap he, oh, I don't think he was down, down no. ended up bouncing on top of the defender on his feet Patrick Magic Taylor touchdown went down 
Patrick Taylor gets his legs taken out. He lands on the defender. He never goes down. What a heads-up wow. play by him. Our look on this replay. Like his hand was down. Our apologies. Now we were able to get better looks at it from our great camera crew. And as you'll see here, this touchdown will be wiped off the board. Elbow down. Brady White dropping way back and picked off at the 40-yard line by Benito Jones. The big fella showing some hands. Hey, and he did it. Here's a vantage point from the quarterback. He's trying to set the screen up. As you see, running back gets pulled to the ground. And Benito Jones, a little one-handed grab. The toss into the boundary. And a great defensive play on Ely up front by Dorcius. He was the first guy to make the hit, so it sets up a fourth down. Up and make this play. Oh, outstanding job pursuing to the football. Corral almost picked off at the seven yard line. Nobody home. Take the mighty Mississippi. Okay. <laughs> you had dinner on that too, right? That right. barbecue. And this is Patrick Taylor Eaton on offense. Dustin Woodard, the starting center, back in the ball game. Out to the edge, complete to Pop Williams. And he spun that like a DJ on the turntable for Pop Williams. Sega Genesis, old school, PlayStation, man. Under heat, nowhere to go that time for Brady White. Five. White underneath complete in full stride. And oh, man. Coxie made the catch. Ole Miss O-line getting a little more push. Under five minutes to go. Third quarter. Corral downfield, caught by Elijah Moore. Their first big play of the day as he gets in behind Thomas Pickens. You. All right, Cassidy, Corral slips, almost fell down, and then forced to throw it away, lost his balance. And finally... The Rebels on the board, 13-3 now. Their deficit with 3.11 to go in the third quarter. Litless, tireless worker who's been extremely productive. Look over the middle, the pass complete. This is their other talented wide out. Patrick Taylor. They're going to go for it here on fourth and short. Coxie makes the catch, couldn't make the move. And a great open field tackle on the play by Jalen Jones. And Ole Miss will take over on down. Block. And take a look right here. So freeze that for me, guys. Watch him fight through this block right here. It's a tight end outside. Sean Dykes, and he just fights right through it. Nice job. Open field tackle. Nowhere for Coxie to go. That's a Corral. Take the reverse. Kept a good decision. Corral. Chopped down short of the end zone, and he took a big hit on that right leg. It was exposed. Phillips another chance. No doubt about that one. The Rebels in the end zone for the first time this afternoon. And they cut the margin to four, potentially to three. Open at the 45. Caught on the play by Coetzee. Dick's coming up. For the Tigers trying to wrest the momentum back. White under duress and sacked. Mike McIntyre's defense comes up with a huge play. Bivens with the stop. And a lot more signs of getting more pressure on the quarterback there than they did a season ago. The punt will roll inside the five. Boy, this is going to work out great for the Memphis Tigers. It'll be down to the two-yard line after that great punt. Dial up a little bit of pressure on him here, deep in their own end zone. Corral to pass, and he's going to take a safety. Bryce Huff. See a backer come here. It's going to be this guy right here. It's going to be Huff. It's just going to kind of sit. He's going to squat. And when the guy he's covering, the tight end, stays in, he's going to release. Untouched, huge sack safety.
What a play for this Memphis defense. From Memphis here this afternoon against an SEC West division opponent. This is a statement game, right? Look at the pass and look at these guys. Tell me this isn't a rivalry game that means something. Huge win for this program, for Mike Norvell to show everybody the ascension that this program is on. I give Ole Miss a lot of credit. They didn't quit. They showed a lot of fight, a lot of grit. They made it a tough, hard-fought game. I do think Matt Luke's team is on the rise. I like what I saw in the second half offensively. I like what I saw from Mike McIntyre. But right now, it's all about the Memphis Tigers and a huge victory for Mike Norvell and his program.